Heidi Plink disappeared October 17th, is 39 years old, a single mother, lives in a $1.3 million home or better. Her ex-husband has my full attention. Now, normally people would look at the significant other, any exes first, um, but in this case, it's really different because Heidi Plank's boss is in legal trouble. So huge multi-million dollar firm, there's talk of embezzlement allegedly, and all kinds of shenanigans. Heidi goes missing as the main accountant. She also has a boyfriend that um, is in a elite position. Um, and so there's a lot of a lot of different directions this would go. But intuitively, I am being drawn to the husband that is playing the role, much like Ryan Hillegas in the Stephen Avery case, where he's leading the search, he's calling the cops. It's almost like he's too, I know this sounds terrible for me to say, but it's, he's too entangled and too involved. Okay. I get that's the mother of his child, but he went into her home. He collected her computer, her phone and kept it for a week or so before he told the police he had it. There is a lot of questions here about Heidi. So if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're gonna look into this together. We've got credit, yield, being she's the accountant and knows all the, pardon the pun, owns of the business. This could be very much what she is sharing. Let's see. Okay. I want to start with a good tarot right in the center. And what we're going to find out is Heidi and her relationship with her husband the day she went missing transformational death card with ace of water somebody took a self cup of love there was a huge transformation between the ex-husband and her on the day she went missing and it is the death card which is a huge ending and i'm talking it's over there's no way back and now we have a self cup of love well that is not what i expected to come out right away is there anything, Heidi, you want to share on the God box about this ex-husband? Um, there was quite a struggle in getting custody. I guess right away he went into the courts and expressed since she was missing, he needed full custody and did gain custody of their son. They were both at a ball game, and uh, the ex-husband explained that she left right away in the middle of halftime or something. So let's get this. Six of coins, don't let your past hold you back. Or, I'm sorry, six of coins, giving to two. Giving, handing out, giving to two. Why is that? What's being manifested? What is this? Two stories. Protection. Strength and five of wands. Wow. Five of wands is all about a tug of war, a stalemate. Things not progressing. And it's six of coins giving to two. And then we have Major Arcana here on the board, as well as Transformation being the death card, with protection and strength. I see this as somebody using their power, their strength to overwhelm a situation. Let me understand what happened and transpired between the ex and Heidi the ex-husband, the father of her child, and Heidi, the day she disappeared after, if anything, the ball game. Wow. Toxicity happened. The double card. She 
show me the husband's energy the day that Heidi went missing, please? That's crazy. I wish I could, like, share with you guys how it feels when some energy comes through the deck, and it's just crazy. Two of Cups. Don Juan, Knight of Wands comes racing in with the car. And they're toxic. Beer. It says beer. Hmm. Let me see the south node challenge here. What transpired with the two? Somebody was trying to manifest an offer, an abundant offer. One of the two was offering something, was manifesting something that was creating an offer. Show me this offer, please. What has happened to Heidi? Show me physically a new beginning. In work. Oh, I can't even. Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. I like leaned and pulled a muscle. It's okay. I'll be all right. Look at the red from the chariot to, oh my God, look at the red. The fool with the eight of coins mastering something, a new beginning in mastering something has taken place. You could see this as a magician coming up with an idea that allows him to master or her to master a new beginning. Is this husband not wanting to give to two? Not wanting to share? Wow. Impossible. Impossible. Okay. Well, I feel like we need to dig into threads of fate for the two. No? Okay. Moonology. Yes. Moonology deck. That's what she wants. Okay. All right. So we've got the husband here. I really feel like that's the new beginning here, wanting to cut something out. Let me understand this opportunity that someone saw. Now, remember, there's no gender in the tarot. Let me understand what this husband and ex-husband, father of Heidi's child, saw. The bit, let me see this. Thank you. What opportunity did he have that's right in front of him? Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. The two goldfish. There's still deep emotions here. It's something you're not seeing. These two were together and you aren't seeing it. I feel they were together after the ball game. Because I've got those two mated goldfish. Show me, and I don't know when after. It could have been that night. I don't know. Let me understand. Was he... When Heidi went missing... What was the husband's true feelings? Don't let your pride get in your way. Ego. His ego was damaged. Full moon in Leo has to do with family pride. <laughs> Not letting someone get in the way of your life, your family. Protected of your family is what he was. Hmm. Was he an opportunist is the question. With all these questions around her, did somehow he take the opportunity to resolve his custody battle? Let's get some qualifications on the board. Heidi Plank, we're going to qualify the strength card with this tug of war and not giving to two. Somebody did not want to give to two. They felt like this was... They did not want Page of Wands, this 
idea. All right, so he holds that wand up, much like Harry Potter. He holds that wand up and he says, I've got this brilliant idea. And it's a, it's like a messenger. It's a young messenger. Somebody shares something. Possibly the son said something about mom this or mom that or whatever. Not even knowing, but an idea popped up out of it. Yep, that's an ace of wands. That is epiphany. It's in clarity. I have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So this is somebody rash, taking action quickly off with their heads. It's hidden. Whatever it was that was communicated to dad upset him. Aluminum. Let's get all these. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to take these. That transformation, that self cup of love. Somebody wanted to transform something to make it all about them. The other cards. Manipulator. Yeah. We have this Ten of Cups. They had this epiphany about this new way to be happy. And again, it's a self cup of love, eternal. And it's by this in and out energy. And it's about these three energies. I'm going to see. I want to ask. What's this third energy? Oh, basement time. What's this third energy? Moving to Comic Grounds, I believe. Yeah, Six of Swords. It's a trip. It's moving. It's moving forward to a place where you don't have to struggle as much. Somebody came up with an epiphany of how to do this to where it would make things so, whoops, much easier. It says aluminum. I said aluminum. aluminum. You say an aluminum. I'm at illumination. Okay, let's get over and understand this. I put that in the wrong place. It's interesting. I put it over here. Yeah, he was manifesting a way to go into a much calmer place with that Six of Swords. Now, let me understand this master manipulator with this opportunity. This manipulator of this opportunity. What happened sunrise at sunrise? Okay. May have happened we hour hours of the morning. Show me this Capricorn energy. Justice. And the Ten of Swords in reverse. So this is Ten Swords in the back, no matter how you look at it. This is somebody getting stabbed ten times over and over and over. And over. And they're over it. Hidden. They want justice. In love. It's revenge in a sense. It's seeking what you feel is just desserts. Show me in the material world what happened to Heidi. Hidden. Out of balance. This is two pinnacles. Out of balance. It's hidden. Somebody went out of balance on her. What is this out of balance? The star. Healing. Notoriety. Being seen. Recognized. Out of balance. I feel like he felt like something was out of balance with her getting all this attention. It says register. Show me this growth. What came out of this? What grew out of this Ten of Swords hidden and this justice? Oh, 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 I have the death card on the bottom. I don't know why. So I have Seven of Pentacles. This is planted it is in divine timing. Somebody, it, it, it could be seen as burying something, planting something. 
something in divine timing. It's waiting your moment. And I have the death card with the moon. The hair fought divorce. Oh my God. The nine of wands, no protection. Wheel moving in his favor for the emperor. Five of swords, fight to the death with the magician in the upper. I've never had a reading do this. Oh my God, king of wands. Putting the burdens down because he's in. Oh my God, he is in mental prison over heartache. I'm sorry if I'm not showing you. Oh my God, the, I could walk the deck with this. What? What? You guys, what? We have these cards we'll do in just a minute. Let's just put them there so I don't forget them. All right, let me see if I can do this. Seven of Pentacles, divine timing, feeling ten of swords hidden in the back. This deep feeling of, oh my God, she did it to me again. She did it to me again. She did it to me again. Then getting justice. Something hidden out of balance. And bring in some healing to someone. Because it's about the seeds that were planted. Things that were buried. Unseen. It's divine timing. Death card. Transformation. Death card twice. Huge transformation. About this smoky trail. This Pisces energy. It's a trail that nobody sees or knows. And when we got this card before, it came up that it was sunrise. It says reality. Reality could have been about property. I have the Hierophant in reverse. This is your marriage card. This is the law of the married. It's courts marrying people. It's commitment. It's in reverse. It's also my divorce card when it's in the reverse. Why? There's no protection here anymore. This is protecting wounded warrior, hidden. He's hiding how hurt he is. He wants that wheel to move in his favor. But I got it in reverse. It's stopping something from moving forward. Who is it? It's the emperor. The daddy card. Daddy Warbucks. Five of Swords winning at all costs, fighting until you win no matter what. And I got the Magician in reverse, the most master manipulator of the deck. This is the guy that sees the opportunity and secretly, covertly gets what he wants no matter what. This can be a true covert narcissist. What's worse is I got it with the King of Wands in reverse. This is someone that knows how to use every tool in the deck very wisely. This is someone no longer feeling passionate in a sexual way, in a phallic way, but feeling passionate about their own emotions, wanting to set things right and put the burdens down because something here is a burden. Who's the burden? It's not the child. He wants the child. And he's sick of being in a mental prison. That's Eight of Swords, a mental prison. Can't get out of it. It's self-imprisonment. It's where you put yourself when you can't deal with things after heartbreak. And I'm talking three swords in the heart. Damn! That's insane. It says swimming, reality. Or is it reality? Oh, reality. Swimming. Did she go for a swim somewhere? I don't know. For all I know, she could have taken a swim in her own bathtub. Maybe she has a jacuzzi. What was hidden, you guys? It's a soulmate card. The sun. This is the child. It's all about the child. And I've hidden protector Archangel Michael coming out. Somebody was trying to not let cups get mixed with the sun. Protect the sun. 
page of pentacle in reverse. It's hiding something of evidence. Wow. I don't even know what to say. I just, I'm shocked. I just got to digest this. So there is some serious anger here. Oh, I got goosebumps. Somebody ain't happy at all. <laughs> We're about to jump into the material world of what happened to her physically. That's this physical world. It's a material world. All right. I got King of Cups on the bottom. That's a guy that don't want to share emotion with anybody. Feels deeply, but you would never know it. They hide it all. Let's go ahead and get introspection. Let's get this chariot. What? I was going to ask what the husband's energy was that day. She went missing, and I got the liar, cheater, thief, or card. Seven of swords, clear as a bell. Show me Heidi on the God box. Show me. Liar, cheater, thiefer. He knows more. Oh, yeah, he does. What's this? Four of cups. Ignoring, overlooking. Just focused on one thing. Ignoring everything else. Obsessed. We have obsession there. Four of Cups can be very much ignoring everything around you except for this one idea, right? Laying something to rest. He was obsessed. You have four, four. Four of Cups. And you have the Four of Swords. Forty-four. He was obsessed with the idea of laying this to rest. It's in the fifth house. It's about the child, the eternal child. It's about your imagination, your perspective, your outlook. We're about to move into our first house, physical temperament. Let me see what he physically did. And I believe it. She was queen of pentacles, no doubt. There's just no way that she'd be anything else. Sagittarius, Capricorn energy. This is somebody that knows her worth, doesn't need anybody. She's got it all figured out. She's good on her own. Solid as you can get. And you know, the high priestess, the one that knoweth that does not speak of. She knew something. Says Oliver. Oliver. Show me this communication about this new beginning here. What is going on? Truth train coming through. Oh, there's a story. All right, you guys. Immigrant. We have in cleansing, somebody made a decision. It was decided. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Now remember, none of my cards are in the reverse when I start out. So if they get in the reverse, they're meant to be. I take them in reverse even if they fall on the floor. I've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It's about the decision to cut out this happy home, this happy life. No more. Oh, for the love of God. I told you, I went over it with you. The Queen of Pentacles, who she is you know who she is who's the queen of pentacles it's heidi it's heidi who is the queen of pentacles married to the king of pentacles and remember he's made a decision not to give to this ten of pentacles anymore to cut it out because she's got her own power She's the queen of wands, entrepreneurial, go-getter, can take care of herself, magical, seductive, alluring. And then we have this judgment card, judging her. 
It says sympathy. She feels sympathy. Let me understand this Scorpionic energy here, this Pluto house, this renewal. There's a story. Secret. Sympathy secret. Show me that secret, lovely. Who renewed is, I have it in reverse, but I show it to you in the upright. Five of Cups, regret. All the cups are spilt. Hidden. Hidden regret. About not working on this, not mastering this. Eight of Pentacles. <sighs> Causing a nightmare. Can't sleep, can't eat, can't think. Up all night, wringing your hands. Worried, can't figure a way out of the past. Six of Cups, your past. The past is swallowing him up. Because he thought this was everything for of ones. This is the 1111 portal. This is you go through this. This is your married for life. It ended. It wasn't destined. And it is, has him in his head. Why? Four of pentacles. He is holding on. This is greedily holding on. Not letting go. It's hidden. He's still holding on. Too tightly that this was supposed to be his. And it's a secret. Here we go. Let's see what the husband did. What husband do? Heidi Plank's ex-husband, please show me. The seer knows. A seer knows. It can be seen. Loving, gentle, kind. A good moment. Oh, my God. <sighs> Had walked away. The good mom walked away. From the king of swords. Because he wasn't loving. He was analytical. He was black and white. Unforgiving. Taurus, Aquarius, Gemini, Capricorn. This is somebody that just doesn't bend rigid. And I have the world card. Closing the cycle completely. Uh-uh. King of Swords still wanted things balanced out and wanted his own justice. And closed the cycle in a hidden way. It says abroad. Jeez, this reading's off the damn hook. Holy cow. Okay, let's get the mystery cards. Woo, that's a loud deck every time. Got sun cards on the bottom again about the sun. Direction, somebody made plans in a certain direction. It's a 42. They contemplated, they meditated, and they thought this out. I say that because I've got meditated, contemplated, new moon and Pisces, something that they came up with, that epiphany, right? Let me understand, don't let your pride get in the way. Something with the ego got in the way. The husband's ego, ex-husband's ego got big time hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have an 11, Justice. It's all about this adventure that was supposed to take place. Took a different route. There were two bridges. And it was dividing up this energy with the child. Give me that self cup of love, please. Travel. Yeah, I'm moving to calmer grounds through the death card. 10 C down here. It's a 10 of swords. Transforming. On top of transformation. Somebody didn't want to share. They did not want to share the custody. They wanted done with this other energy. They just did. Ex-husband. Oof. 
Let me get some blessings here on this chariot. Thank you. That was weird. Like, I couldn't continue to shuffle because it's all about the sun. It's about the child. I got it three times. It's about this child. Yes. Shapeshifter. This is somebody that changes on a dime and you don't know it. Let me understand this new beginning. <laughs> the new beginning is about the new morning. It happened in the sunrise, I believe. We hours of the morning. She may have already been home, went to bed, laid her phone down. Mm -hmm. She did too. She went to sleep. Dream time. Creations. She went sound to sleep. Dirty. Somebody did her dirty while she slept. What? Wolf instinct. Childhood. Ancient. Okay. Oh. Wolf instinct. Somebody knew when she was going to bed. They knew her from the past. They had known her. Every routine. This is childhood. This is the past, somebody that knows her intimate life. And they're volatile. And I got the healing in reverse, which I don't take these in reverse, but in this situation I do. Itching. Huh. Mexico abroad. Secret Mexico abroad. Dirty itching. Whew. Okay, so yeah. Hmm. I'll let you guys draw your conclusions here, but my takeaway personally is this ex-husband, from what I'm seeing, has a lot of very dark seated issues. Ten swords in the back. He's hiding his emotion as a king of cup, right? And the king of pinnacle. He's both. Anyway, and he's wanting justice on the board. Has to do with the kid. Has to do with the kid. Has to do with the kid. The son, the son, the son, the soulmates. We have the divine mated pair. The queen and the king of pentacles on the board. We have 44. We have this swords and cups. Yeah. To me, it says it all when I look at the ex-husband's energy and it comes up as a liar to your fever. I think he's setting this all up. I think he had something to do with her. I think he went into her home at night is what I'm getting with the dream card. She was sleeping. He knew her schedule and he stopped it. I don't know how he stopped it. He just made his problems disappear where he didn't have to share his energy or his son's energy anymore. I think he was an opportunist, opportunist and took advantage of the circumstance that was going on around her. I'm just saying. For that, pay he wanted. Oh, I'll pay. He wanted, he wanted her to pay. I think this was revenge and also getting what he wanted. Why would anybody look at him? She's already in a world of issues. And if he takes all the right steps and he reports her and he looks forthcoming and her only supporter, well, he's going to look innocent. But is he? Liar, cheater, thiefer. Stealing the words out of camp also could mean about the computer, deleting words on the computer that he took or the phone. What does it say? Pay, domain, neva, ahead. I don't know what that means. Name of might be a name. All right, you guys. So with that, um, I hope to God that she is found soon. I really, really do. Um, it's heartbreaking. And I do feel like this child deserves better to know what to know what has happened to his mother. All right, you guys. I want to say 
Thank you to everyone that supports my channel. It means the world to me. We're about to hit 4,000, and I'm going to send this beautiful gift out just as a thank you to everybody. And I'll be going through the subscribers list pretty soon. It says Kitchen Table Tarot. Pull up a chair, shuffle the cards, and let's talk tarot by Melissa Sonova. So you might be the lucky winner of that. I'm going to leave a little message and a, and a signature inside for you, and I'm going to send that right to you. You might be the winner, right? Okay, you guys, so now, where are we headed next? Hmm, I got South Carolina, I'm sorry, North Carolina, on the God Box for Summer Wells. And we have Grandis going to North Carolina to take Jose. So, meet me tomorrow night, 8 p.m. U.S. Central Time, and we're going to break down the story of what is going on with North Carolina, Grandis, and Summer Wells, possibly Jose as well. I love you. To the moon and back. God bless you.